Hey guys, it's Cobalt here and welcome back to another video. A couple months ago, I posted a video sort of documenting everything that is coming out in G2, going over every single LPS, showing what's already released and yada yada yada. If you haven't seen that and you're curious, I will link it up in the cards so you guys can go check it out. But I have now realized at this point that there was one LPS that I completely forgot to mention in that video and I just totally skipped over by accident. And in hindsight now, I kind of feel like that was the universe giving me a warning sign. And that LPS is of course the blue deer. A lot of people have been very very excited for this LPS, myself included, because I think that it's awesome that Basic Fun is releasing a blue deer, because most of the other deer that we've gotten, G2 or G7, they've all pretty much been like a brown or a pink color scheme, but blue is such a cool color and I love the way that it looks on this LPS, especially with the brown eyes. However, this LPS does not exist and that is what I'll be talking about in today's video. So recently some new images have surfaced and this is a photo directly from the Macy's website showing the set that this LPS comes in. But as you can see, this LPS is no longer blue, it is now pink. It looks very similar to the pink deer that comes in the advent calendar, but of course, you can pretty much see if I put them side by side, it is a pink recoloration of the blue deer and not just a reprint of the pink deer from the advent calendar, which has a lot of people upset and a lot of people worried. So I decided to order this and take a look at it for myself and see if the blue deer indeed is really gone. But who knows, maybe it'll show up again in the future, maybe it's literally in the past that I'm about to show you guys right now, but my hopes are very, very low. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. All right, so this is just a cardboard box because I ordered it to the store so that I didn't have to pay for shipping. And I assume that they would just like give it to me in a little plastic bag, but it's still in the box because it was not currently available in the Macy store when I picked this up. So this is very much going to be a live reaction. It's not looking good, you guys. So let's start off here with the back of the box. Here is the deer in question. On the package, she is is purple. She's not blue. She's not pink. She's purple. The purple's kind of cute, but like, you know, the blue's still better. And then here's all the other pets that it comes with. If you couldn't already see, these are all reprints. This is from wave one. This is from wave one. And then the other three are from wave two. Most of these are blind box LPS for some reason. I don't know why, but apparently we get a card for every single pet in here, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, this is LPS 121, which is the same number as the blue deer. Guys, this is, <laughs> this is so upsetting. Here's the art on the top of the box though. I think it's super cute. I love how it has our original panda and the new deer, but still, where is she? Uh, no, why? Why does it look like this? All right, so here's the deer. First thing I'm noticing unrelated to the LPS is that it's actually hooked in with plastic ties on the antlers, but then a paper tie here on the body. I don't really know what's up with that. At least I see some other paper ties here, but I definitely prefer those over the plastic. So this is the pet that is actually exclusive to Macy's in this package, and it's labeled as a reindeer. And there's also a little advertisement here for the fabric sleeping bag and this is going to be my first time feeling one of the fabric accessories for G7. I also love the little snowflake decorations on the package. Like in general, this package is really, really cute. Here's the bird, the squirrel, you can see all the accessories. And the cat here looks a little bit messed up. The paint around her muzzle is pretty fuzzy. But there's also like a really cute graphic in the background that you can kind of see, which I also really like. So here's the full set and it is the Winter Wonderland Play Pack. Again, this is a Macy's Toys R Us exclusive. I'm not sure if it's strictly exclusive to the Macy's Toys R Us if it'll also be available at the regular Toys R Us. I'm not sure right now. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever seen this set anywhere. But yeah, in general, I think that the set is adorable, but my main critiques on it are, of course, I don't like the fact that every single pet in here is a reproduction. Besides that, though, I don't see any of these LPS even fitting the winter theme at all. Like, none of these scream winter to me, except kind of the deer just because she's a deer with antlers. Obviously, it's sad that it's not the blue deer anymore. I do still think it's cute, but I just, I'm not really sure why that was changed. This pink deer is nowhere on the checklist, nowhere on the website, so it's just not looking good for the blue one. And if it indeed never comes out, I would love to make a custom of it because, again, I think it's a super cute design. But my critiques aside, my disappointment aside, let's finally get this package opened. So here's the backdrop again. I think this was so cute, and I think that this would be a super cool package detail to, like, cut out and reuse for a scene. Absolutely love this, and I hope we get more things like this in the future from Basic Fun. And then taped to the bottom of that is the cards and the checklist and all that stuff. So before I free any of the pet or accessories from the plastic, I do want to take a look at this first and see what we get in here. 
Oh, wow. So this one comes with a coin of actually every color. So here's the normal one. Here's the pink one. And here's the green one, which I believe is the rarest code. And I assume is coming in the set because there is an exclusive LPS. So it's kind of cool that it comes with a lot of codes. I actually really like that. Let me know down below in the comments what you get from them. Here's the checklist. Let me open it up to reveal to you guys that this deer is in fact not part of it. So from what I can tell, everything is looking the same here. No sign of a deer. Oh, what? Wait. Oh my God, they changed it. They literally changed it. What the hell? Okay, hang on. Guys, I was planning to wait to upload this video. I'm posting it way sooner than I was planning. This is insane. Okay, okay, I found another checklist. Literally dug through my garbage to find this. Look, look right there. Look right there, you guys. Blue Deer 121. On the new checklist, it's purple. Even though in real life, it's pink. What is happening? Nah, that's literally crazy. That's literally crazy. Guys, what the hell? Okay, as of filming this, it's still the Blue Deer on the website. Guys, quick intermission. They changed it. They literally changed it. Where is the blue deer? It's gone. Oh, <laughs> come back. Okay, that's it. That confirms it. The blue deer is gone. It does not exist. That is so sad. Literally, okay, quick intermission. I was planning to post this video like a month from now or something, like way closer to winter or whatever, because I have a bunch of videos that I wanted to post before this, because as you can see, I'm now back in my college room. Unfortunately, I live really close to a busy road, so there's obviously background noise that you've heard in this video. I'm sorry about that, but I need to post this video immediately. Like, this changes my whole schedule. Let's look at the cards. First up, we got the panda. This looks like the exact same card we've gotten before. Here's the bird. I think this is a new card because I want to say that the tube set with her came with a dog. So I do like that we're getting another card of an LPS. Number 40, fanciest level two core, yada, yada, yada. Then we got the bunny. Obviously already have a card of her because she's a blind box pet. Same with this cat. And then here's the squirrel. I'm pretty sure the monkey card has the same exact background as this. I do have the set that this one comes in now, but I haven't opened it yet. And this is hungriest level two and exotic. And then we have the card with the purple deer on it. And it is again, 121, sassiest level two exotic. Of course it's sassiest because because she a bitch for real for replacing the blue deer. I'm sorry. But I guess this means that there's like three variants of this pet. A blue one, a purple one, and a pink one. I guess maybe this could just be like weird lighting or something like that. That's just so strange. Like I literally could not tell you why Basic Fun decided to make this change. But let's actually take a look at the set and review it like everything is completely fine and completely normal. But guys, nothing is fine. Nothing is fine. This is insane. All right, so here's the mess of everything that comes inside the set. As always, I'm going to be taking a look at the accessories first. So let's move that out of the way. Let's start off with this big accessory. So this is like a little tent, which I think is really cute. I'm not sure if this accessory is appearing anywhere else in G7 because obviously there's other sets that I don't own yet and haven't looked too closely at yet. But I believe that this is like a new sculpt and I think that it's really, really cute. So I'll just put it back there and shove cobalt inside like that. And check out you guys, I have a watch now, so cool. And then here's a little sled. You can like hook a pet on here and they can pull the sled. The plastic of this feels a little bit cheap. It's a little bit bendy. Kind of has like the same vibes as a sand toy. Like it's got that kind of plastic, but you know, this is cool too. I didn't even realize this, but it comes with two sleds. So there's a red one and a pink one. Don't really know why you need both, but they're there. And moving on to the smaller accessories, we have this little bamboo bench. I actually really like the color of this one. I think it's super cool. So give that to Cobalt as well. We have a pile of white snowballs, obviously very fitting for the snow set. Then we have some apples and carrots. I feel like these come in every every single G7 set, not really sure why, but now I just have a million of them. And then finally, there is the campfire with two marshmallow sticks that you can put in here. It's actually kind of hard to shove them in, but they go like that. There's three holes, but only two marshmallows. But I do think that this is cute and this is probably my favorite accessory in the set, but I do also really like the tent back here. All right, so now let's finally take a look at the pets. And I'm starting off with these three because I have talked about all these ones in a video as well. Uh, the bunny should be here too, but I'll talk about her separately since she's still stuck in the sleeping bag. Anyways. I guess we should start off with the panda. Get out of here. Here's the panda. She looks exactly the same. She has really nice quality eyes. In the video that I'm posting after this one, I actually am talking about all the qualities kind of degrading, but this panda looks really nice. She looks great. <laughs> Squishy head, but everything about this one reminds me of like the very first panda that I ever got. So nothing to complain about here. She's adorable. So based on the stuff that I'm going to talk about in my next video, which you guys haven't seen yet, this is a nice change of pace and it's nice to see this LPS. Then we get the bird or the quail or whatever 
whoever the heck she is who keeps falling over. That's normal, nothing new here. Her head might be a little bit squishier than my original one. Unfortunately, I don't have my original pets to compare these ones to. And I actually think, oh, she really cannot stand up. Okay, so there's something wrong about this one that I do not have a problem with my other one. Now she's standing, all right. But yeah, she, she looks fine, nothing to complain about here. I just don't really understand why she's in this set because nothing about this one reminds me of winter. If it reminds me of any season, it definitely reminds me of spring. But I guess because she's blue, she's in this set. I'm not sure. As a collector set, that's kind of like a starter pack, I guess, with an exclusive. I think it makes sense that the panda's here. The cat doesn't make sense either, but I guess it's here because she's a cat and she's cute. This one also looks like nice quality, aside from the fact that her paint job's a little bit blurry on the white markings, as you can see. You know, since all these LPS are doubles for me, I'll probably just be recustomizing them into something else. But now let's talk about the bunny, because she is another double of a blind box pet. And she is trapped inside the sleeping bag on a piece of cardboard. Damn, she's like about to get butchered or something. What is going on? Let me free her. She's about to get sacrificed to a, a cult, I think. Yeah, as you can see, she's attached with rubber bands. So I'm not really sure why the pets are now secured with both rubber bands and paper ties. I really, really prefer the paper ties because it's better for the environment. And if you are a new inbox collector, they hold up a lot longer. But that's just my opinion. This one also looks pretty good. Honestly, she feels a little bit weird, actually. I don't know if this one's better quality than the one that I have already. Her eyes are more pixelated than all the rest of the pets. And for some reason, the plastic is like a little bit rough. That's unfortunately not something you guys can see on camera. So I think that this is probably the worst quality out of all the pets in this video. She even has like some weird plastic lumps on her body right here. And the quail's fallen over again. But now let's take a look at the squirrel. This is another double LPS that's like been released in its own set. I'll throw up a picture on screen if you guys are curious. I have not posted that video or even unboxed that set yet, but I do have this one. So this is another double for me. Although this is my first time officially looking at it. And it's very cute. I love this one so much. Again, so happy to see another triplet base. Since this is now a double for me, I will definitely be using this for custom because it's so cute. Although I can tell you right now, this one is definitely better quality than the other one that I have. Except it's it is so squishy. No, why is it like this? It's not as bad as my wolf dog, but it definitely has the same kind of problem. That's very unfortunate. Maybe my other one has a hard head. Who knows? Apparently there's like two factories. One is making squishier headed LPS with the printed eyes. And then the other one is making LPS with hard heads and then the painted eyes that in theory look nicer, but the printing on them is atrocious. And that's also something that I'll be talking about in my other video later this week. So this one's really cute. This is my favorite so far, but now let's move on to the exclusive. Oh wait, I almost forgot to talk about the sleeping bag. It's cute. I'm glad there's now a fabric accessory. The fabric feels fine, but it's like obviously a little bit on the cheaper side. It would be nice if there was printing here, but I think that the old LPS sleeping bags might have been made the same way. And this type of accessory also comes in the set with the squirrel. So I'm glad that this one is at least a different color. And I do really like the idea of putting all of the personality symbols on this to decorate it. But yeah, pretty cute. Let's just throw that back there and talk about the infamous star of this video, I suppose. Okay, so let's adjust her head because she is facing the wrong way. The antlers are the color that they're supposed to be, that they were initially advertised as. The rubber band, like, low-key is melted on because it was very hot today when I walked to Macy's to buy these. Let me talk about the accessory first, I guess. The antler accessories are very cute. In the advent calendar with all of the deer LPS, they're releasing more of these with different colors, but I love this teal color, and that's why I'm so sad that the blue deer doesn't exist anymore because he was supposed to be this color. But we got this one instead. I'm gonna throw up a picture on screen of the pink advent calendar deer because they do look extremely similar and that's why I'm sad that we don't get the blue one because he was so different and so unique. The only redeeming thing about this one I think is that she now has stars in the eyes which the blue one didn't and it's really cute. So now you've seen it with the advent calendar deer so you can see that they are indeed different. And now once again I'll throw up the blue deer for comparison. I believe, you know, obviously you can see on screen if I'm just saying random bullshit, but I believe the blue deer had normal circle eyes and then had like star spots on its side right here. And I wish that this one did actually still have the spots because I think that that's a really cute idea. The only thing that's the same is like the general design is basically a recolor and then she still has the brown eyes. And I do think that this deer is so cute. This is my first time owning a G7 deer and I do really like this one, but I can't help but mourn the LPS that we have lost because I loved him so much more and I was already perfectly happy with getting a pink deer in the advent 
calendar later on. I don't need two of them. I don't need two that look so similar. And this is a brand new mold. I don't really think that I'll be able to show it to you on camera, but on this leg right here on the underside of it, you can see it says 2024 instead of an old mold. I mean, like, she looks a little bit weird, I guess, but not comparing it to a normal deer LPS or one from G2. I think she looks great, honestly. Like, nothing to complain about with the mold here. Oh no, <laughs> her head is so squishy. Why? Why is she like this basic fun? What happened? I still love her, but I am... No, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. The change in the checklist literally has me, like, fuming right now. That's insane. That's literally insane. The blue deer is lost to time. You can literally see how goddamn similar they are. The pink one that already exists. They're like this same LPS now, given the fact that this one's not even purple like it is on the checklist. The only difference is that the other one has flowers in the eyes and it has spots. Oh boy, you guys. Oh my god. Let me know down below in the comments what you think, because I think you can tell what I think now. What I will say about this set, you know, excuse the fact that they're all falling over in the background and everything is a complete mess now. I will say that if you are just now getting into LPS and you miss some of the pets from wave one and you're just starting to grow your collection, I think having a set like this is great. Even if these LPS have already been made, this is a great way to start off your collection and give you a handful of random LPS. And of course, if you're interested in checking this out for yourself, I will be putting the link to this set down below in the description so you can order on a Macy's. I ordered this one and had it shipped to the store and when I went there, they didn't have any in stock at the store. So as of right now, you're just gonna have to order it online, but I'm sure in the future, this one will become available in the store as well. But I'm guessing that'll probably be closer to December or the winter months because it is a winter themed set technically, even though I don't really see that. Like if you're gonna do it with reprints, there's so many other LPS that would fit the theme better in my opinion. And this set costs $30. So to end off the video, let's do a little bit of math and see if this set is even worth the price. Like if you were gonna buy these LPS individually, would it even add up to $30? So this set comes with three blind box pets, all of which are $4 if you buy them at Target. Technically $3.99, but we'll just round that up to four. So right now this is already $12 worth of LPS. Then we have this pet, which is part of a three pack. And at Target, this one is part of a $10 set. Technically $9.99, but again, we'll round it up to 10. And then get out of here, bro. This one, I'm not exactly sure what the price of this set will be, but since it is a three pack, I'm going to estimate that it is $15 because the other sets that come with this amount of LPS are roughly that price. And we'll just consider this LPS like a free bonus and not add her to the price. So that adds up to $37. And like I said, this set is $30. So I would say that is definitely worth the price. But the thing is, if you bought all of those pets, not including the deer here, if you just bought all of these guys, you would have four other LPS that don't come in this set because you would have bought these two pets, which are both part of three packs. At that point, it's kind of up to you guys to decide if this is worth the price. And again, this is just devolved into utter chaos, you guys. I'm just gonna end the video now. Again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think this is worth the price? Are you just as upset as everybody else in the community that we have been robbed of the blue deer and now have the pink deer? Literally, guys, like they took the best color and replaced it with the worst color. That's my opinion, but I'm devastated. I'm literally devastated. But at the end of the day, I love unboxing Little Pet Shops and sharing this with you, even if it's not the most fun unboxing in the world. I have to give a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel, especially those of you who have purchased a commission or a normal custom for me on my Etsy or my eBay, because you guys are the reasons why I'm able to make awful, awful financial decisions like this. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!